been asked several times about a tour of my 2003 VW Eurovan camper. So let's jump right in by sliding open the side door. At first glance, we see the sink, stove, refrigerator, and cupboard. First, however, to provide more standing room, let us open the pop-up roof. Now we can comfortably stand up inside. A second bed is available with the roof popped up. When the upper bed is not in use, we can enlarge the standing room by simply sliding the bed boards back. Opening the countertop reveals the sink and the two Werner stove. For water, we lift the faucet and twist. The water is pumped from a 12 gallon fresh water tank. The water drains into an eight gallon holding tank. We access the gas stove by raising the splatter shield. Fuel comes from a five gallon LP tank, which has the capacity of four gallons of gas or 16 pounds. Lighting the burner is easy. Just provide a flame with a match or lighter and twist the knob to open the gas. Below the stove is the refrigerator. It is powered either by gas or by the 12 volt van battery or by 110 volts of shore power. Shore power is where you connect the van to an electrical outlet. Above the refrigerator are several monitors that reveal levels in the water and gas tanks, as well as the charge level of the van battery. There are also two outlets for 110 AC current and one for 12 volt DC current. The AC outlets are only active when plugged into shore power. To the right and behind the driver's seat are tables. The tables attach to the edge of the cabinet and use a fold out leg for stability. They can be used one at a time or for more table space, a second is available. Both the driver and the passenger seats swivel to provide additional seating for eating or working. To the left of the refrigerator is a utensil drawer and a cupboard where I keep pots and pans, cleaning supplies, and miscellaneous items. Further to the left are two smaller cupboards. I keep toiletries in the top one using two or three bins. I store food in the lower one. Further to the left are two more cupboards. I use one for clothes. The cupboard holds five or six bins. The cupboard also has a hanging rod for hanging clothes. And still further to the back is a narrow cupboard with shelves where I keep miscellaneous items. There's also some nice storage under the seat. When it is bedtime, the bent seat pulls out and lies down flat. After the mattress is unfolded and in place, the bed is ready to be made. In the morning, the mattress along with sheets and quilts may be folded up together without completely unmaking the bed. For cross ventilation, side screen windows may be open. When the roof is popped up, Side and front screen panels may be unzipped for cross ventilation or zipped up for warmth. A ceiling vent also opens in the very top of the van. There are four ceiling lights above the lower bed. There are brighter lights above the kitchen cabinet and in the roof. The van is equipped with a thermostat which turns on and off the gas furnace on cold days and nights. In the very back, there are two 110 volt AC outlets and one 
12 volt DC outlet. On the side of the bed, there is a handy pocket for placing things for easy access during the night. The back hatch or lift gate can be opened if need be from the inside. The bench seat is equipped with seat belts. The van is also equipped with smoke, carbon monoxide, and LP gas detectors and alarms, as well as a fire extinguisher. Opening the back hatch reveals some more van goodies. There is a lot of storage room under the bed. Here I keep leveling blocks, tire chains for snow and ice, two large bins, one for photography and electronic equipment, and the other for miscellaneous items, an umbrella, a shovel, two camp chairs, and a camp table. The coach battery compartment has extra room. In the compartment, I keep a hose for filling the fresh water tank, jumper cables, an extension cord, and the shoreline connecting cord. On the left side, there are two small storage pockets. Below them is the water center, where you fill the fresh water tank. There is also a shower or spray head for washing off outside the van. Below the water center is the electrical power center with a number of circuit breakers. On the driver's side of the van, we find the LP gas tank controls and fill valve, the wastewater tank dump valve, the shore 110 volt AC input plug, the holding tank vent, the furnace exhaust vent, the refrigerator heat exhaust vent, and the gas tank. On the passenger side, there is one additional vent for the battery. The V6 engine gives the Eurovan much more power than previous VW camper vans and has plenty of power to get up any mountain pass. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Henry, my 2003 VW camper van.